Chapter 4 Now when all the nation had come to the other side of Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, Take twelve men from the people, a man for every tribe, and say to them, Take up from the middle of Jordan, from the place where the feet of the priests were resting, twelve stones, and take them over with you and put them down in the place where you take your rest tonight. So Joshua sent for the twelve men, whom he had ready, one man out of every tribe of the children of Israel, and he said to them, Go over before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of Jordan, and let every one of you take up a stone on his back, one for every tribe of the children of Israel, so that this may be a sign among you, when your children say to you in time to come, What is the reason for these stones? Then you will say to them, because the waters of Jordan were cut off before the Ark of the Lord's Agreement, when it went over Jordan the waters of Jordan were cut off, and these stones will be a sign for the children of Israel, keeping it in their memory forever. So the children of Israel did as Joshua gave them orders, and took twelve stones from the middle of Jordan, as the Lord had said to Joshua, one for every tribe of the children of Israel. These they took across with them to their night's resting place and put them down there. And Joshua put up twelve stones in the middle of Jordan, where the feet of the priests who took up the Ark of the Agreement had been placed, and there they are to this day. For the priests who took up the Ark kept there in the middle of Jordan till all the orders given to Joshua by Moses from the Lord had been done. Then the people went over quickly. And when all the people had come to the other side, the Ark of the Lord went over, and the priests, before the eyes of the people. And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad in the half-tribe of Manasseh went over armed before the children of Israel as Moses had said to them. About forty thousand armed for war went over before the Lord to the fight, to the lowlands of Jericho. That day the Lord made Joshua great in the eyes of all Israel. And all the days of his life they went in fear of him, as they had gone in fear of Moses. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Give orders to the priests who take up the Ark of Witness, to come up out of Jordan. So Joshua gave orders to the priests, saying, Come up now out of Jordan. And when the priests who took up the Ark of the Lord's Agreement came up out of Jordan and their feet came out onto dry land, the waters of Jordan went back to their place, overflowing its edges as before. So on the tenth day of the first month the people came up out of Jordan, and put up their tents in Gilgal, on the east side of Jericho. And the twelve stones which they took out of Jordan, Joshua put up in Gilgal, and he said to the children of Israel, When your children say to their fathers in time to come, What is the reason for these stones? Then give your children the story, and say, Israel came over this river Jordan on dry land. For the Lord your God made the waters of Jordan dry before you till you had gone across, as he did to the Red Sea, drying it up before us till we had gone across, so that all the peoples of the earth may see that the hand of the Lord is strong, and that they may go in fear of the Lord your God forever. Chapter 5 Now when the news came to all the kings of the Amorites on the west side of Jordan, and all the kings of the Canaanites living by the sea, how the Lord had made the waters of Jordan dry before the children of Israel, till they had gone across, their hearts became like water, and there was no more spirit in them, because of the children of Israel. At that time the Lord said to Joshua, Make yourself stone knives and give the children of Israel circumcision a second time. So Joshua made stone knives and gave the children of Israel circumcision at Jibeth Har Araloth. And this is the reason why Joshua did so, all the males of the people who came out of Egypt, all the fighting men, had been overtaken by death in the wasteland on the way, after they came out of Egypt. All the people who came out had undergone circumcision, but all the people whose birth had taken place in the wasteland on their journey from Egypt had not. For the children of Israel were wandering in the wasteland for forty years, till all the nation, that is, all the fighting men, who had come out of Egypt, were dead, because they did not give ear to the voice of the Lord, to whom the Lord said, with an oath, that he would not let them see the land which the Lord had given his word to their fathers to give us, a land flowing with milk and honey. And their children, who came up in their place, now underwent circumcision by the hands of Joshua, not having had it before, for there had been no circumcision on the journey. So when all the nation had undergone circumcision, 
they kept in their tents till they were well again. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today the shame of Egypt has been rolled away from you. So that place was named Gilgal, to this day. So the children of Israel put up their tents in Gilgal, and they kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the month, in the evening, in the lowlands of Jericho. And on the day after the Passover, they had for their food the produce of the land, unleavened cakes and dry grain on the same day. And there was no more manna from the day after they had for their food the produce of the land. The children of Israel had manna no longer, but that year the produce of the land of Canaan was their food. Now when Joshua was near Jericho, lifting up his eyes he saw a man in front of him, with his sword uncovered in his hand, and Joshua went up to him and said, Are you for us or against us? And he said, No, but I have come as captain of the armies of the Lord. Then Joshua, falling down with his face to the earth in worship, said, What is my Lord to say to his servant? And the captain of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take off your shoes from your feet, for the place where you are is holy, and Joshua did so. Chapter 6 Now Jericho was all shut up because of the children of Israel. There was no going out or coming in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given into your hands Jericho with its king and all its men of war. Now let all your fighting men make a circle round the town, going all round it once. Do this for six days. And let seven priests go before the ark with seven loud sounding horns in their hands. On the seventh day you are to go round the town seven times, the priests blowing their horns. And at the sound of a long note on their horns, let all the people give a loud cry, and the wall of the town will come down flat, and all the people are to go straight forward. Then Joshua, the son of Nun, sent for the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Agreement, and let seven priests take seven horns in their hands and go before the Ark of the Lord. And he said to the people, Go forward, circling the town, and let the armed men go before the Ark of the Lord. So after Joshua had said this to the people, the seven priests with their seven horns went forward before the Lord, blowing on their horns, and the Ark of the Lord's Agreement went after them. And the armed men went before the priests, who were blowing the horns, and the mass of the people went after the ark, blowing their horns. And to the people Joshua gave an order, saying, You will give no cry, and make no sound, and let no word go out of your mouth till the day when I say, Give a loud cry, then give a loud cry. So he made the ark of the Lord go all round the town once, then they went back to the tents for the night. And early in the morning Joshua got up, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. And the seven priests with their seven horns went on before the ark of the Lord, blowing their horns. The armed men went before them, and the mass of the people went after the ark of the Lord, blowing their horns. The second day they went all round the town once, and then went back to their tents, and so they did for six days. Then on the seventh day they got up early, at the dawn of the day, and went round the town in the same way, but that day they went round it seven times. And the seventh time, at the sound of the priest's horns, Joshua said to the people, Now give a loud cry, for the Lord has given you the town. And the town will be put to the curse, and everything in it will be given to the Lord. Only Rahab, the loose woman, and all who are in the house with her, will be kept safe, because she kept secret the men we sent. And as for you, keep yourselves from the cursed thing, for fear that you may get a desire for it and take some of it for yourselves and so be the cause of a curse and great trouble on the tents of Israel. But all the silver and gold and the vessels of brass and iron are holy to the Lord, they are to come into the storehouse of the Lord. So the people gave a loud cry, and the horns were sounded, and on hearing the horns the people gave a loud cry, and the wall came down flat, so that the people went up into the town, every man going straight before him, and they took the town. And they put everything in the town to the curse, men and women, young and old, ox and sheep and ass, they put to death without mercy. Then Joshua said to the two men who had been sent to make a search through the land, Go into the house of the loose woman, and get her out, and all who are with her, as you gave her your oath. So the searchers went in and got out Rahab and her father and mother and her brothers and all she had, and they got out all her family 
and they took them outside the tents of Israel. Then, after burning up the town and everything in it, they put the silver and gold and the vessels of brass and iron into the storehouse of the Lord's house. But Joshua kept Rahab, the loose woman, and her father's family and all she had, from death, and so she got a living place among the children of Israel to this day, because she kept safe the men whom Joshua had sent to make a search through the land. Then Joshua gave the people orders with an oath, saying, Let that man be cursed before the Lord who puts his hand to the building up of this town. With the loss of his first son will he put the first stone of it in place, and with the loss of his youngest son he will put up its doors. So the Lord was with Joshua, and news of him went through all the land. Chapter 7 But the children of Israel did wrong about the cursed thing, for Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zebedee, the son of Zerah, of the family of Judah, took of the cursed thing, moving the Lord to wrath against the children of Israel. Now Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is by the side of beth Aven, on the east side of Bethel, and said to them, Go up and make a search through the land. And the men went up and saw how I was placed. Then they came back to Joshua and said to him, Do not send all the people up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and make an attack on Ai. There is no need for all the people to be tired with the journey there, for it is only a small town. So about three thousand of the people went up, and were sent in flight by the men of Ai. The men of Ai put to death about thirty-six of them, driving them from before the town as far as the stoneworks, and overcoming them on the way down, and the hearts of the people became like water. Then Joshua, in great grief, went down on the earth before the ark of the Lord till the evening, and all the chiefs of Israel with him, and they put dust on their heads. And Joshua said, O Lord God, why have you taken us over Jordan only to give us up into the hands of the Amorites for our destruction? If only it had been enough for us to keep on the other side of Jordan. O Lord, what am I to say now that Israel have given way before their attackers? For when the news comes to the Canaanites and all the people of the land, they will come up, shutting us in and cutting off our name from the earth, and what will you do for the honor of your great name? Then the Lord said to Joshua, Get up, what are you doing with your face to the earth? Israel has done wrong, sinning against the agreement which I made with them. They have even taken of the cursed thing, acting falsely like thieves they have put it among their goods. For this reason the children of Israel have given way, turning their backs in flight before their attackers, because they are cursed. I will no longer be with you, if you do not put the cursed thing away from among you. Up! Make the people holy, say to them, Make yourselves holy before tomorrow, for the Lord, the God of Israel, has said, There is a cursed thing among you, O Israel, and you will give way before your attackers in the fight till the cursed thing has been taken away from among you. So in the morning you are to come near, tribe by tribe, and the tribe marked out by the Lord is to come near, family by family, and the family marked out by the Lord is to come near, house by house and the house marked out by the Lord is to come near, man by man. Then the man who is taken with the cursed thing is to be burned, with everything which is his, because he has gone against the agreement of the Lord and has done an act of shame in Israel. So Joshua got up early in the morning, and made Israel come before him by their tribes, and the tribe of Judah was taken. Then he made Judah come forward and the family of the Zerahites was taken, and he made the family of the Zerahites come forward man by man, and Zabdi was taken, then the house of Zabdi came forward man by man, and Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. And Joshua said to Achan, My son, give glory and praise to the Lord, the God of Israel, give me word now of what you have done and keep nothing back from me. And Achan, answering, said to Joshua, Truly I have done wrong against the Lord, the God of Israel, and this is what I have done. When I saw among their goods a fair robe of Babylon and two hundred shekels of silver, and a mass of gold, fifty shekels in weight, I was overcome by desire and took them, and they are put away in the earth in my tent, and the silver is under it. So Joshua sent men quickly, and looking in his tent, 
They saw where the rope had been put away secretly with the silver under it. And they took them from the tent and came back with them to Joshua and the children of Israel, and put them before the Lord. Then Joshua and all Israel took Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver and the robe and the mass of gold, and his sons and his daughters and his oxen and his asses and his sheep and his tent and everything he had, and they took them up into the valley of Acre. And Joshua said, Why have you been a cause of trouble to us? Today the Lord will send trouble on you. And all Israel took part in stoning him, they had him stoned to death and then burned with fire. And over him they put a great mass of stones, which is there to this day. Then the heat of the Lord's wrath was turned away. So that place was named, the Valley of Acre, to this day.